hello friends this is the very first video on character modeling which I am starting as a series in this video uh, in this series I will uh, create a complete character from a starting to end this is going to be a long series I will go uh, through each and every step I will not escape and I will not do any fast forward while working and uh, I will explain in between whatever I am doing so it will be easier to understand and uh, so let's start uh, this is the reference which I have found over Adobe stock actually we don't get good references in the case of character modeling uh, if we are creating likeness then we can easily get uh, a photo suit from the model or if we don't have sufficient reference we need to find that over internet or uh, request that client to send some good references so that you can get each and every detail in your model so here I am taking a, an example uh, and I have picked this image from Adobe Stop because uh, this image can be used uh, as a texture also uh, I will show two me method of texturing uh, one will be projection based and one will I will create uh, by manipulating photos, uh, photo in Photoshop so I am going to cover each and every step and this is the first video so in, in the beginning of uh, character modeling usually we work over the reference uh, this is going to be a little tricky we will just match the front and side view in Photoshop and then we will uh, save it as a front and side view and then we will jump to our 3d application whichever application you are going to use uh, you can use ZBrush if you have your all uh, base model already there or you can start it from a scratch so let's, let's for, uh, first match our reference in Photoshop Uh, these are the ruler which I have uh, added ar earlier. I am removing all of this. Uh, what I will do, I will just uh, move this side view to this uh, front view canvas by shift selecting, uh, selecting and dragging, dragging and dropping over that canvas, and I will move this a uh, little bit aside, and I will remove unwanted areas of this uh, image, and I will move this front view also a little bit side. I will move it this side so that it can be clearly visible yeah this is perfect now I will start putting grids uh, I will uh, putting grid uh, ruler lines control R is a shortcut to show this ruler line or hide this ruler and this is a toggle key toggle shortcut uh, I am using this first ruler line around the chin of this model and second will be around the eyebrow of this model yeah perfect now third will be around the nose of this model yeah it's perfect now you need to uh, scale this side view as it is not matching with the front view can put one more ruler line around the lips center of the lips I think it's perfectly matched minor yeah now it is match in this reference this eye is closed so I'm not going to uh, match the eye however if I will be open it will shift little above so don't worry about I we will uh, use front for the eye opening and just with an idea we will create the eye that is not going to bother us now it is matched by this way you can match any kind of blueprints just place your blueprints here and start matching 
now I'm shifting the side view over the front view I'm going to save this I just crop down wanted areas I have cropped it little extra so I'm just hiding this side view and just cropping as it re as required I will put one more line at the center of the canvas and shift this in, uh, front view to the center of this line so that in 3d application by default it will come to the center otherwise it, uh, I will have to adjust there generally I am talking about zebras and this side view is already at its perfect place now just to hide this just put a layer below this and uh, sorry uh, I had white color so now it will look neat and clean and just save this as a jpeg saved now hide this and save this as a jpeg oops oops I just named it incorrectly this is side and now we are going to save front view and save this PSD also for future use uh, if you get if you get uh, stuck somewhere then you can make minor adjustment and just update these images your reference will be updated in 3d so I am going to keep this also this uh, this is named as reference and save it as a top PSD yeah it's done now your reference is ready perfectly matched so in, uh, in the next lesson we will uh, put this reference in our desired 3d application I'm going to start directly from ZBrush as I have already uh, 3d base mesh created I will share the link of that base mesh in the next video if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get the next video thanks for watching the video